The views and opinions of the guest do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of Bod's Mayhem Radio Network, its staff, affiliates, or sponsors. Parental discretion is advised. Welcome to Bod's Mayhem Radio Network. This is Christina Chris, the vocalist of Kaleido, and you're listening to Bod's Mayhem Hour. Welcome to Bod's Mayhem Hour. Your source for all hard rock, heavy metal, new metal, alternative, punk, horror punk, hardcore, rock, and all local bands with your host, John the Bod, a.k.a. The Bodfather. Hey everybody, welcome to Bod's Mayhem Hour. I'm your host, John the Bod, a.k.a. The Bodfather. And as always, I am bringing you guys awesome interviews Today, it is an honor and privilege to have Miss Christina Chris. She is the vocalist of Kaleido. They have a new single called My Enemy. It's out now. And they just wrapped up 32 dates on the Summer Soul Collection Tour with September Morning to support the release. Kaleido has had tours with Seether, Hellstorm, Rob Zombie, and Evanescence. And they kicked off 2018 with two performances on the Ship Rocked Cruise. And they played a handful of dates on the final Vans Warp Tour. Also, Collider was My Enemy was featured in Alternative Press's Songs You Should Know. Christina, how's it going? It's going fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> so let's jump right into this. New single, My Enemy, is out now. Is this song more darker and heavier compared to the previous EPs that's out by you guys and plus experiences out as well? Was this something that you wanted to do to, to get a little heavier? Yeah, you know, it's actually it, uh, it's a lot more personal, and it is a bit darker and deeper for me. And it wasn't anything that I really planned, just, you know, continually evolving and growing as an artist and sharing experiences that I've gone through, and it, it just came out, you know. So I'm really happy with the song, and I hope that it reaches, you know, those that need to hear it, and, and it can help some people through experiences that many 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 of us have gone through so what led you guys to pick my enemy as a single what stood out about this song for you guys to say yeah let's do this one first well we went to work with johnny k in chicago and listened to a bunch of songs that we've written and you know it kind of just that one floated to the top for us i think we all were feeling it and it just Kind of, you know, it. we went through everything and decided that was the one that we wanted to, to roll with first off the bat. So we just let the universe guide us on that one. I think that for us, the best product comes when we don't think too hard about it. And we just kind of go with the flow. Now, you mentioned you guys worked with Johnny K on this, who's worked with Three Doors Down, Disturbed, Pop Evil, Megadeth, and Alita's Way. How was working with him, and did he did he push you guys on this, or did he just let you go on your way, then step in when he needed to? Let's talk about that a little bit. No, I mean, he's, like, such a talented producer, and it was an honor to work with him. But, you know, when we went in there, we just kind of listened to the songs and vibed out. He put his two cents in, you know, on all of them, and then we just kind of rolled with, you know, the one that we all were feeling the most at the time. And it just was like the vibe with that with him at the moment, you know, so we rolled with that track. Could you see yourself working with him again on another album, possibly, maybe? Oh, yeah, totally. It was a lot of fun. He's super talented, and uh, I just had a great time. I learned a lot being in there with him. We all did. So he's a really cool guy, and I look forward to working with him more in the future. <laughs> For you guys, how long has it taken to discover your sound that you were happy with or are you still wanting to push outside that box, Christina, for Collado? You know, every day I'm just trying to be a better version of who I was yesterday. And that goes for not only like me as a person, but also as a musician and an artist. So I'm just continually evolving, but I feel that we've come a long way. You know, we've gone through a lot of trials and tribulations as a band, and I'm really happy with the sound that we are creating right now. So I'm excited to get the rest of these songs that we have that we were playing out on tour recorded. People have been asking for them because they've heard them live. So now it's time to get some recordings and get them out. What's impressed you the most about being an independent band for the past six years, releasing two EPs and plus the album experience independently? This has to be huge to come as far as you guys have. Yeah. And I am really proud of my band. I 
honor to work with, you know, some of my best friends in the whole world and some of the most talented people I know. And, uh, you know, we've all kept our heads on straight for most of the time. <laughs> and um, we're creating the music that we want to create by our standards, you know, and it's, it's been a fun, it's been a fun past, you know, and uh, to, you know, experience lots of different people in the industry that try to mold you or push you into like a certain direction or mold that they'd like you to be in, you know, we've stayed strong and, and just kind of like stayed true to ourselves. So are you guys still wanting to stay independent or you want to break away from that possibly? I mean, absolutely. We're looking to grow and, you know, move forward with our careers, Mm -hmm. but I definitely always want to stay true to who I am as an artist. That's just really important to me, you know? Now you said you guys are getting ready to uh, start getting into the studio and things like that. So when will this possibly be released for the new album? Are you wanting guys to do it uh, early 2019 or late night? You know, I'm not sure. Like in today's musical climate, I don't really know if releasing a full album is the course that we want to take at you know, the, at the moment, I just kind of want to get in and record and let the songs out, like, as we see fit, what makes the most sense. So I'm just going to be in the studio writing, recording, and just working. You know, we're taking some time off from touring, and as soon as it is possible and <laughs> I can get it out there, it will be out. Are there any songs that are standing out to you possibly right now that's going to be on this new album that, that sticks out for you possibly that you could talk about, maybe? Oh, yeah, totally. I pretty much have a, a good chunk picked out already, and we've been playing them live, so our fans have heard them, and, and they know about them. And then also we're working on a lot of new songs as well. What do you hope the fans take away from Kaleido's music or message you hope that they hear while listening to it i hope to you know give strength to those who feel weak hope to those that feel down and just inspire people to be themselves and you know stay stay strong through the trials and tribulations of life you know we all have demons we have to find our own way to battle them and everybody is different so i just hope that my music can help those that need it you know and can empower how much growth musically have you seen this band and yourself go through up to the release or getting to start working on this new album or has it just been more just a personal growth for each of you involved with this you know i i'm just going to speak for myself right now but um i i've grown tremendously i you know i think that you know life just keeps throwing it on you and you've got to find a way through it There's a lot of dark times. There's a lot of, you know, happy times as well. Like life just loves to to roller coaster you and you're, you got to take the good with the bad, the ups with the downs. And I've just embraced it. And I've actually really embraced the dark and and found songs and and parts of myself that I never really knew that I had. So I feel like, you know, as an artist, I've grown tremendously and I'm excited for that to come through in the music. You know, I'm excited for people to see that. Collado was named best band in Detroit by Real Detroit Weekly in 2013 and 14. And you guys won two Detroit Music Awards in 2015 for Outstanding Rock Pop Group. And plus Outstanding Rock Recording for your second independent EP, Unbreakable. Now, Collado was nominated again in 2017 for your album Experience. And you won Outstanding Heavy Rock Group. This has to be like a huge boost of confidence for you guys. Well, it's it's definitely an honor to be celebrated and recognized in your hometown. That's for sure. You know, there's a lot of musical talent in Detroit. It's a very history rich area and has been the breeding ground for some of the most influential artists of all time. Sure. So mm-hmm. it's definitely an honor to you know be given that award in in our home city in our home state. Um, and then, you know, also it just motivates you to just keep working. And uh, we don't play in Detroit as much as we used to. We're out touring most of the time. So it's it's nice to come home and, and still feel that love. How much local support did you guys get when you were playing in, in Detroit? And plus, or are you still getting that support from that area as well? Oh, yeah, uh, absolutely. You know, this is kind of, this has been the 
like ground zero for us and our fan base totally started here, which we call the Kaleido fam. And we have just a very supportive, really awesome community that has come to be like just through the love of our music. And, and, you know, that's always really awesome to come home and, and see that core fan base, you know, and I'm excited though, that that's now branching out, you know, across the country and internationally as well. When you go into the recording studio, do you do anything differently during the writing and recording process to help keep your mind fresh and open to new stuff? No, not not in particular. What can fans expect at a show from Kaleido who have not got to see you guys live as of yet? Super interactive, explosive, and exciting. You know, there's like a lot of crowd participation and I literally as soon as I step on the stage I'm going to try to reach in and touch everybody's soul like right off the bat so it's a (laughs) it's a pretty magical experience I've been told from my fans you know it's just like it takes the music and it really brings it to life in front of you and then of course we always look forward to meeting people and you know just giving them the feels (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> now we're living in the digital era of recording albums and plus social media do you like this that we're in to get albums out quicker and plus social media you know of course to reach out to more fans who have not got to hear you guys do you like this i have a love hate with it honestly yeah i i enjoy how quickly you can turn music out and you know i enjoy how easily it is to reach people all over the world but also i think that it takes away from reality and the live show experience so it's definitely a love hate but i don't really have much say in it besides you know just rolling with it and doing what i love and continuing to just do what we do and uh adapting what does Kaleido bring to the table for music that's not out there as of right now if anything possibly well it's you know it's angsty it's very angsty and uh it's it's a bit heavy but there's also still this like really vulnerable soft side to it And I think that people can really relate to that nowadays. You know, I think that it's going to be the anthem and the voice to, to those that maybe don't know how to express how they feel emotionally. It's, I'm really excited about all this new music. What made you want to become a musician? What was that spark for you that said, yeah, this is what I want to do. I just knew ever since I was a little kid, honestly, I just, knew. My grandmother told me when I was very young that I was a good singer and that I should keep singing. That's like honestly my last memory with her. She passed away shortly after that and so I've just never forgotten that. I've just carried it with me my entire life and here I am. Is there any show or moment that stands out for you that made you say yeah this is worth every time and effort that we have put into Collado? Has that has that happened to you guys as of yet possibly? Oh, like every one, you know, every new experience and opportunity we get, we fully embrace it and just feel extremely blessed. And Ship Rock was a really awesome one to think that, you know, writing music and singing songs brought me into the middle of the ocean on a ship for three days performing. <laughs> I never imagined that I would be singing songs that I wrote in the middle of the ocean on a cruise ship. <laughs> for sure. Christine, I want to thank you for taking time out for uh, being on the show this evening. How can folks stay in touch with you guys, buy some merchandise, this new current album experience, tour dates, tickets, things like that? How can they do that? Everything is on our website, which is kaleidoband.com. And so we do have all our merch on there for sale, as well as links to everywhere that you can stream or download the music. You can also follow us on social media, on Twitter and Instagram, at Kaleido Band. And then, of course, Facebook as well. You can find us at, under you know, facebook.com slash Kaleido Band. Before I let you go, would you care to do a promo for the show? Sure. This is Christina Chris, the vocalist of Kaleido, and you're listening to Bot's Mayhem Hour. Everybody stick around. we got some great, great music coming up, and you only hear these interviews right here on Bod's Mayhem Hour and Bod's Mayhem Radio Network. Thank you so, so much, Christina. Thank you. I appreciate you having me so much.